All right, need a ride? Well, many folks turn to Uber or Lyft. Want your food delivered? There's an app for that too, like Uber Eats, Grubhub, and many others. But what happens when parents use food delivery services to send lunch to their kids at school? Bob Jones live at Copley Fairlawn Middle School tonight. And Bob, this is an issue that has really led to a policy change there. Well, Danita, this letter went home to parents telling them that delivering lunches through any type of food delivery service is no longer allowed. Using an app like this one, Uber Eats, well, it may be convenient, but some say here at the school it's also causing some safety concerns. Millions of people around the world use Uber or Lyft to get from here to there, and Uber Eats, which uses drivers to deliver favorite restaurant meals to you, is in more than 200 cities, including Cleveland and Akron. For many, it's just another sign of the technological times. There's just a whole bunch of good it can do, but it on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's just so much negative it can do. At Copley Fairlawn Middle School, principals became concerned last week when two parents used Uber Eats to deliver lunches to their children. You probably have a you know very busy life and um, lots of things to try to take care of. Forgot realized they forgot a lunch and kind of maybe in a panic thought, what can I do? School leaders who must be vigilant about safety say unknown food delivery drivers coming in and out of the school office creates disruptions and raises security concerns. Our main concern with the Uber Eats or Dining Dash is just allowing people to come into the building that we, we don't know, we're not familiar with because our job here is to provide a safe and secure environment for everybody. We're just not going to have the Uber Eats or drop-offs and just folks who don't need to come in. The school now telling parents about a new policy. No lunch is sent to students through any food delivery service, but also stressed policies are in place to make sure kids don't go hungry if they forget to bring food or money. Our students are always able to charge a lunch, put a lunch on an account. They don't have to have any money. Many parents understand the convenience of food delivery apps. I think it's very handy, especially if you can't go out and get it yourself. But also get why a school would make restrictions. I don't think they should be allowed in the school. I don't think so. I would, I would be, if I was a parent, I'd be kind of nervous about letting strangers in there. We reached out to Uber today to see if there are any policies in place when it comes to the possibility of delivering food to schools for kids, but we haven't heard back yet. Live in Copley tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.